Uh, Lisa, if you've got Liz Hurley going public, uh, you're not the world's most favourite airline, perhaps. No, I mean, yet again, we're seeing these IT problems, you know, really impacting passengers um, and in a quite a serious way at a time of year when so many of us are wanting to travel. Um, it's up to 50 flights now that have been cancelled to the US, to Caribbean and to other destinations like Japan and Canada. Um, and these are outbound flights from Heathrow and Gap, and also the corresponding inbound flights. And obviously, this is going to impact families who will be travelling around this time for Christmas. Yeah. Yeah, not the best timing, of course, um, but it, it is something that's affected uh, BA before. They say this is a different problem this time, a bit of software, but they have got sort of third parties involved. It's, it's not BA's own kit, is it? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know whether or not you would actually say that that makes it any less liable that British Airways the ones yeah. having to deal with it. Um, whether or not it's a third party supplier, it does still mean that the impact it has when you are an airline as large as British Airways is that you're going to have that reaction when thousands upon thousands of people are going to have their plans disrupted. Now, the other aspect, of course, we've got social media where people can react immediately. And we were just mentioning there Liz Hurley. Uh, she says she had to pay for her own taxi to get it back to her hotel because she'd been waiting in line for so long. Uh, and there is a, a sort of theme running through this of families being left without information, without water, uh, without food and so on. And yet we understand that there are these um, things in place that should be enacted by the airline if, if uh, delays go over a certain period. Well, that's right. Yes. I mean, all of these people have been impacted by either delays of more than three to five hours, depending on whether it's short haul, or long haul or cancellations. They have rights. And um, now, obviously, in the case of this, this is British Airways fault that this has happened. This isn't something they can blame on outside circumstances. So cash compensation is due if your flight is delayed or cancelled for a significant amount of time. On top of that, it's up to them to make sure they get you to your destination as quickly as possible, even if that means using a rival carrier. It's not just just about them saying to you, oh, we'll get you on the next BA flight. They should be looking to get you to your destination as quickly as possible, even on rival airlines. And as you say, you know, that if we've, you've got these long delays, people are stuck in airports, perhaps um, haven't had the support they should have, which is the right to an overnight delay, a hotel, and plus meals and drinks. If you're not getting that from BA staff at the airport, um, make sure that every receipt that you um, have from, you know, spending money yourselves, keep all of those receipts because you should be able to claim all of that back from British Airways. Yeah, I'm just looking at uh, uh, another passenger who's been on Twitter uh, saying that uh, their flight BA212 or 212 from Boston to Heathrow cancelled after four hours sitting on the tarmac. We t we're told we'd be rebooked in tomorrow's flight, but when I check my BA app, it doesn't seem to be the case. I've tried calling eight times, but nobody picks up. Now, this is the other aspect, that they have these helplines, these contact numbers. You just hang on and no one answers. It is very frustrating. I myself was um, <laughs> I was a victim of this earlier on this year when a flight from Bari went tech after we'd been on the plane for, uh, I think, probably nearly five or six hours. Um, we then had to spend overnight in an airport. Um, we also struggled to get any kind of support and help at the time from British Airways. Um, and it, it, it's impacted even more when you've got a situation like now where so many of those flights are going to be impacted at a time of year when they will be running almost to capacity in full. So right. you know, do take care of yourself, but make sure you keep every single receipt and claim it all back. Yeah, well, let, let's get to the rub. I mean, it used to sort of uh, champion itself as the, as the world's favourite airline. I remember David Frost with all those adverts in the 70s sort of, you know, striding across the globe. What's happened to BA, to British Airways? Well, I mean, I think... Something like this happening at this time of year is never ideal, and that's why the impact is so enormous on the on the schedules because there will be so many more flights running at the moment. Um, but you know, you could say that there were perhaps some times where you know that there was a lack of investment in the product over the years. Now you speak to the current British Airways management, and they say that they have recognised there were problems and they are sorting it out. That they are looking to go forward to make sure that the customer is number one um, in their view um, in going forward, and obviously. You know, they've had quite a lot of um, issues over the pandemic. Um, yeah. Airlines have, took a huge hit. Um, they are, uh, you know, really now should be back up and running again. And the focus was meant to be on the customer. So this could not have come at a worse time for British Airways. OK, Lisa, thank